I've seen several videos lately of people using AI images, image generation software like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, Dolly to create an enhanced video and to make it look animated. They took an, a video and made it look animated and I thought, I want to do that. So let's do that. As I'm working on a major animation project, I thought it would be fun to have this for my intro. So we're going to quickly walk through how to convert your short video into an animation style video. And you've probably seen these on TikTok, YouTube, all kinds of places, Facebook, all over the place. So let's do that. But before we get started, you need to make sure you pay the class fee with a like or subscribe. So hit the button down below. Okay, class is in session. I'm using Stable Diffusion Web UI for this project. All the links for everything I'm using is in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. To get started, I recorded a short video, about 15 seconds in length. It took about 10 takes because I'm not a very good actor. I cleaned this video up in DaVinci Resolve, output it as a movie file, MOV, then I used this, this cool website called Easy GIF that converts video to GIF. So because I'm lazy and I didn't really feel like getting into Adobe Premiere Rush or Camtasia or one of those other tools, I just let the website do all the work for me. And it was pretty easy. The optimal frame rate for your output is going to be between 12 and 15 frames per second. Your video size needs to be on the smaller uh, size. Um, 512 is really your maximum for what you want to do for this. So 512 by 512. Make sure that it is no longer than 20 seconds. We can always put them together for what we need to create. For my project, I'm using Stable Diffusion 3.5. 4 is supposed to be out real soon, but 3.5 is working great. To get the cool effect, you're also going to need to download a new model. First of all, download this model from Hugging Face. It's about 2 gigabytes, so let's get that started right now. It, and again, the link is down in the description below. When it's finished downloading, you can place this in Stable Diffusion, Models, Stable Diffusion folder, and then it will be able to be added. Next, with Stable Diffusion running, you can do this while the model is downloading. Go to the extensions. We're going to add GIF to GIF. You will need to install this with the install from URL. It's not available in the listed links. So again, grab the link from down below in the description, plug that in, and you're ready to go. Hit the apply and restart UI. Once you have the model copied over and the GIF to GIF installed, you're ready to switch over to the Ink Punk Stable Diffusion model. If you Again, if you installed this while Stable Diffusion is running, just hit that Apply and Restart UI and it'll come up without any problem. Go over to Image to Image, scroll down to Scripts and select GIF to GIF. Drag your GIF into the GIF to GIF area and set your, frame, your frames per second. It should automatically detect it. Mine came out at 12.5. Leave everything else alone. Scroll up to the description area and make sure you put in the keyword NV Ink Punk, which was mentioned on the Hugging Face website that that is the keyword to activate this particular model. Fill in the rest of your description. Be as descriptive as you can. Put in negatives if you've got them. Um, I went through several iterations before I was happy with the, the output on this. For the first few versions of your test, I recommend keeping your sample steps down low to save time until you start getting the look that you're looking for. Somewhere around 20, you could go up to 50, but 20 is probably going to be better. It's going to save you a lot of time. I left my CFG at 0.5, and I found that the critical thing that I needed to adjust was that, that had the most impact on what I was doing was the denoising. I started with a 0.7 and I hated the results. So I started going down. The lower the number, the more true it's going to be to your original image. So I went ahead and, well, here it is at 0.5. And here it is at 0.3. And 0.2. And here's 
Now, if you notice, point one is getting a little too close to the original. I'm losing the ink punk effect that I really wanted to get on this, and, and I'm really going after either a cyberpunk or an anime style. So I went ahead and went back up to one to 0.15, and I'm pretty happy with the results at 0.15, but you're going to have to play with that and find where you get the best results for you. Once I had something close to what I wanted, I went back up and cranked back up my sample steps up to 150 to get the result I wanted. And I'm pretty happy with that, that result. Just to make sure that it was doing, the ink punk was doing what I wanted it to do, the model of the ink punk was doing what I wanted it to do, I went ahead and switched back to standard diffusion model, which takes a couple of minutes to do it because it's got to load several gigabytes into the, the model. Mm, not quite what I was looking for. But which do you think is the best? Do, do you like the ink punk effect or do you like the original stable diffusion? I Let me know in the comments down below. Here's the final video with the audio added in to give the effect. Now again, I'm not an actor. I'm not a voice actor. I'm just playing around and having a good time here. Gather round. Gather round and hear my story. It's a story of heroes, a story of adventure, a story of sacrifice. What are you going to use this for? What are you going to try with Stable Diffusion? Is there a tutorial you'd like to see me to create on using artificial intelligence to help you with animation or making games or uh, doing mobile apps? Those are the things that I teach at the university level. So. I'm showing my students these things, and I thought I'd share it with everybody here. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.